Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. In this video, we'll discuss Freemasonry as a mystery school. Freemasonry is the modern day equivalent of the ancient mystery schools, often referred to as the ancient mysteries or just simply the mysteries. Freemasonry is modeled on the plan of the ancient mysteries. Even the casual observer must realize that the true wealth of Freemasonry lies in its mysticism. The average Masonic scholar, however, is fundamentally opposed to a mystical interpretation of its symbols, for he shares the attitude of the modern mind in its general antipathy towards transcendentalism. A most significant fact, however, is that those Masons who have won single honors for their contributions to the craft have been transcendentalist almost without exception. It is quite incredible, moreover, that any initiated brother, when presented with a copy of Morals and Dogma upon the conferment of his 14th degree, can read that volume and yet maintain that his order is not identical with the mystery schools of the first ages. For whichever way the Mason turns, he is confronted by these inescapable issues of philosophy and the mysteries. Yet withal, he dismisses the entire subject as being more or less a survival of primitive superstitions. The true Masonic Lodge is a mystery school. All Masonry deals largely with ethics and symbolism of the ancient mysteries. The identity of the Masonic institution with the ancient mysteries is obvious from the striking coincidences found to exist between them both. The Masonic Order is founded in the secret schools of the pagan antiquity, many of the symbols of which are preserved to this day in the various degrees of the Blue Lodge and the Scottish Rite. Masonic ceremonies symbols and the celebrated legend of Hiram in the master's degree were borrowed directly from the ancient mysteries or the secret worship of Bel, Osiris, or Tammuz. From Egypt, the mysteries went to Persia and were celebrated at Tyre. Osiris changed his name and became Adonai or Dionysius, still the representation of the sun. In Greece and Sicily, Osiris took the name of Bacchus. Ancient secret doctrine, which is concealed in Masonic allegory and symbolism, it was but to preserve these truths for future generations that Masonry was perpetuated. This uninterrupted chain of modern Freemasonry from the Knights Templar leads us back to the important initiatic schools of Egypt in which certain adherents had attained the highest degrees of initiation among them, Moses, Pythagoras, and Plato are believed to be among these high initiates. Though Masonry is identical with the mysteries, it is so in this qualified sense that it presents but an imperfect image of their brilliancy, the ruins of only their grandeur, and a system that has experienced progressive alterations, the fruits of social events and political circumstances. Upon leaving Egypt, the mysteries were modified by the habits of the different nations, among whom they were introduced. Though originally more moral and political than religious, they soon became the heritage, as it were, of the priest, and essentially religious, though in reality limiting the sacerdotal power by teaching the intelligent laity the folly and absurdity of the creeds of the populace. The Christian religion and masonry have one and the same common origin. Both are derived from the worship of the sun. The difference between their origin is that the Christian religion is a parody of the worship of the sun in which they put a man whom they call Christ in the place of the sun and pay him the same adoration which was originally paid to the sun, as I have shown in the chapter of the origin of the Christian religion. There is no question, therefore, that the work to be done in familiarizing the general public with the nature of the mysteries is of paramount importance at this time. 
these mysteries will be restored to the outer expression through the medium of the church and the Masonic fraternity. If these groups leave off being organizations with material purpose and become organisms with living objectives. Few monarchs have more thoroughly protected the mystery schools within the Masonic body than Frederick II, King of Persia, well named the Great. Not only did he protect them, but he also actively sympathized with them. The substance of the Kabbalah is the basis upon which masonry is built, since modern masonry is undeniably the dim and hazy reflection of primal occult masonry, of the teaching of those divine masons who established the mysteries of prehistoric and pre-Diluvian temples of initiation, raised by truly superhuman builders. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And please consider giving a little to Wars of the Roses through PayPal or Patreon. The links are in the description. Even very little will be appreciated. Thank you very much.